Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. This is a product that we actually use when we installed our seedling um, tomato plants. This one here was actually um, installed in early March. So this one's about three months old now. As you can see, um, it's about a foot and a half um, above the ground and it's just about at my height, I'm six feet tall, and so it's catching up to um, my height. This plant, even though it's at six feet, um, or actually let's say four feet if we subtract two feet off the ground, um, this plant will actually grow anywhere from 15 to 20 feet during this growing season, which will take us all the way to August, September, maybe even October. Um, so we're gonna have this plant grow vertically up these bamboo um, stakes. They're supported by these metal rods that are um, behind me and spaced about every four to six feet um, in between and these tomatoes will actually grow up the sides and then ultimately make um, a cave as it grows overhead and you'll watch that over the course of this growing season. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to prune this tomato plant to actually grow with just two vines rather than the at least eight to ten vines that are actually um, growing as it's trying to get into this bush pattern. Um, we're actually going to stake it and support it um, to the existing bamboo um, stakes and remove all of the excess all of the excess um, shoots that are coming off of the primary vine. So if you come in a little bit closer here, you'll take a look at what we're gonna do and we're gonna start at the base of the tree and then and, and work our way up. What we've done here, and you can see that there's these groups of tomatoes, this here is the early grow um, variety. Um, I've noticed just off of this group of tomatoes is actually some new plant growth that's coming off of that. We don't need that. We want all of the growth to actually go into the tomatoes and not into making any more leaves or, um, or any more growth. So all of the energy is gonna go into these fruits. Uh, the next thing, so we're looking here, this is the primary trunk of the tree. It goes up and then branches into these two branches, one that goes to my left and then the other one that goes to my right. What we're gonna do is follow the primary branch and any excess shoots, such as this one here, and I'm usually removing these about every um, week. As I see them coming out, I usually remove them, but for the sake of this video, I've left it. So this is the first shoot that I found that's coming off. We follow the branch up, and then we see another fork. And remember, we're only keeping this as, a, as two vines and not anything more. So this branch appears to be new, even though it's large and it's starting to flower if we take a look over here. But again, our goal is not to grow this as a multi-branched um, tomato. We want two branches and all of the energy to go into that fruit production. So this large branch is coming out. Um, if we continue following this up, we're gonna end up here. I see that there's another shoot in the back. I can actually just pinch that back. And here this branch comes out. We continue going up. There's another shoot over here. I'm gonna remove that. And we continue up. And here's another shoot over here. That comes out, and then we follow this up further, and you can see here it's also forking, creating another two branches. We can see that the primary branch is over here with the flowers. This here is growing and getting ready to do its flower production over here, but this comes out, and we continue up, and we follow. This is the primary. This here is another shoot over here, so this here comes out as well, and that, that'll all go into our compost pile. So you can see that we've now trained it to actually have one stem. Here's another little shoot. You can start removing it even when it's this small. I just noticed as we follow the path, there's an additional branch over here on the back. As you can see, it grows quite a bit until it finally gets into its flowering state, whereas the primary branch fruits about at every leaf level or every other leaf level. So it's far more productive to actually um, work with just one or two stems as a tomato vertical garden. So that's actually going into our compost pile. All the additional branches that we've got will go back here into that pile. And now let's take a look at the, so now that we've got this, you know, in position, I'm gonna take a piece of twine. We're not gonna tie this back and support it. So we're gonna go and tie this here. And you notice I never tie the knot onto the onto the plant, I tie it onto the stake, um, the supporting structure, and then wrap it around the tree, and then pull it back. And I don't go too tight on this. There's room, as I'll show you here. So there's room between the plant and the stake, and there's no knot that will constrict the flow of the sugars and the waters going through the plant. So this half of the plant's done. 
we'll do the other half um, just for further practice so you can see um, so you can see this process all over again so we're gonna follow it again we're following the branch up from the main trunk going up this branch there's a, a shoot that comes off the side over here so we're gonna remove that even though it's flowering I know it's hard to do you think it's gonna be more fruit but we're gonna get far better quality fruit by doing what we're doing here today so then we're gonna follow it up we're looking for additional shoots here's another shoot this comes out following it up, following it up. Here's another large shoot that came off. Again, this is something you should be doing weekly. This is about um, three weeks of growth that's coming off the plant. So that'll go into our compost pile as well. Going up, another shoot, that comes out. And now here's two large stems. It's almost difficult to see which one's which, but this one here is full of vegetative growth, a lot of leaves. Whereas the primary branch, which is right behind it, is covered with flowers, as you can see back here with all these yellow flowers. So we know that this here is, is the offshoot. So we're gonna remove that. And, and we're pretty close to done. Um, so now we gotta support this as well. So here we are, again, we're gonna go with our twine, cut a length. As we um, demonstrated before, you're going to want to tie it to the supporting structure and not tie any knots onto the actual plant. So there that is. I'm going to then grab it, wrap it around, and pull it up. And as I was doing so, I just found another offshoot over here which I'll be removing and then that'll be it you can see here's the next group of flowers which will also fruit we'll get this additional string out of the way make it nice and neat so that'll be our next group of flowers and the growth just continues going up as we make our way towards the ceiling um, and that concludes that concludes our video on tomato pruning I hope you found this video helpful if so sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below to watch all of our other Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint um, videos. It was a pleasure. Happy gardening. Thank you.